Greetings fellow citizens, I am the Senate Dude, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. When we last left off, we uh, got shot out into space, we crashed down here at uh, Terra 2, this is planet Terra 2. We're looking for a thing to help us repair a ship. Uh, who's at fruit? I want, I want the fruit. Oh shit, I don't want to do that. Um, and uh, now we are trying to decide if we are going to help out... Uh, Reed Thompson or what's her name again? Like Agalade or something? Where'd she go? Agalade? Yeah, oh Adel oh Adelaide. That's her name. Adelaide. So Uh what we need to do here is to somehow broker peace between the two factions. There we go. Huh. I like these terminals. Alright. So what we need to do... ...is to... ...go somewhere. Oop, shit. Alright. So, all right, we'll do this side quest for this episode here. Zoe's house, Stefan Garcia. Let's talk to Stefan. Hello, Stefan. Oh. Fancy duds. Do the tubes get in your way? Uh. I'm told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. <laughs> Alright, tell me a little about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Alright. Was she acting strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Hmm. Hold on. There was something else. Hey, I got time. Oh. Alright. See you around, man. Alright. Hey, how you doing, deserter? Alright. Let's go into Zoe's house. Zoe's journal. Well, today's the day, Zoe. You take your destiny in your own hands. Huh. She's become a bandit, hasn't she? Huh. Oh, logs. Oh, you can't have... You can't stow the logs. Okay, I was wondering if you couldn't. That's good. That's good. You can still read logs. And have things added to them. Alright, let's go. Zoe Chandler. Uh, what's, what's here? Stefan Garcia. You hungry? We got canid ribs. Canid flank. Canid snout, too. Something I can help you with? Got some more questions about Zoe. I'll help if I can. What was that surprise... Uh, what was that about surprising Zoe? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, 
but she was gone the next day. Okay, I'll see you around. Alright. Hmm. Alright. Plan to run away and join the Marauder camp to the east. Now that you know her location, head to the camp and see if she's okay. Uh, looks like we got ourselves a... Fucking die, dude. Got him off. All dead. All right, nice. All right, let's hit the place. All right, Marauder Thug. Thick. Canned meat. Running low on ammunition. There we go. What's this? Construction mechanical. Oh. Out of ammo on all guns. Except for that one. Dead. Dead. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, where's the fucking ammunition? I need ammo. I missed all those shots. Okay, nice. Bin, nothing. Open the door! F 
fuck. Wait, I have a plasma rifle. That's what I can use. Got him. I turned him into ash. Take all that shit. Alright. Sorry. You only live once. It's kind of the lesson here. All right, Zoe. What's up with you? Wow. You crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. Huh. You're Zoe? Your people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Uh... I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. <laughs> are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Alright. How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me, they love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, must be my natural charisma. <laughs> Uh, so I'm impressed. How'd you pull it off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. So why did you leave camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. So, there was something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Uh, I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Alright, let's, uh, persuade. You should go back, people are worried. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. What about Stefan? You two were friends. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation. Unlike these hooligans. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Alright, take care. Hey, I leveled up! Yeah! Alright, let's get fucking 25 lockpick. Alright, dialogue. Alright, medical. Shit, yep. Alright. Ah, uh, nice. Oh, I got a perk point. Shit. Uh, let's see. All right. Now. Oh, whoops. Oh, you need another mag lock. All right, Grace. How you doing? What is it? I talked Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? <laughs> Something about, uh, they had. She joined up with a band of marauders. They hadn't hurt her. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. 
Let me know if I can do something for you. All right. I will leave you be now. See ya, Grace. Oh, my reputation with a faction has changed. Ah, here it is, right here. Groundbreaker. Deserters. Agreeable. Spacer's Choice. The Board. Salvage and Shipping. Iconoclast. Groundbreaker. Okay. Oh, one of my weapons or armor is at minimum shit. Alright, let's see what, what it is. Uh, good. 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 Ooh, look at that. I got a bolter pistol. Huh. Uh. Uh. Spacer's Choice Hibernation Suit. Do you repair? Well, it's currently what I'm wearing. Uh, like I can twirl the tubes around. <laughs> All right. All right. The deserters are now agreeable. So let's talk to Adelaide to Adelaide and see if we can convince her to make peace. All right. Anything else I can do for you? All right. Uh. Uh, this might sound strange, but I don't know where I am. That's not strange at all, dear. Few of us truly know where we are. The world can seem like a forest without end, and it is all too easy to lose one's way. But we must remember that being lost is the first step in discovering yourself. No, I mean, I actually don't know where I am. This is the old botanical lab in Emerald Vale. On Terra 2? By the look on your face, I'm guessing you're not quite following me. Are you not feeling well? Ought to lay your head down if you're running fever. Just getting my bearings. My, la my pod landed not far from here. Are you talking about an escape pod of some sort? Where did you say you were from? I didn't say I arrived here from Earth. Does the hope ring any bells? I could do without the mockery. If you don't want to tell me where you're from, that's fine by me. Uh. You don't understand. I'm from the hope. Is that a new settlement of some kind? I haven't kept news from outside the Vale. Uh, not... Not exactly. It's a colony ship. Oh, you're talking about that old piece of folklore. Now I'm convinced you're delirious. You really ought to lay your head down <laughs> here. Babbling only agitates the humors. You ought to try some of my purgative tea. Won't cure what ails you, but it will distract you for a spell. You don't believe me? Maybe I do. I don't know yet. Growing up, I heard my folks talking about the hope. Always believed it was just a story we told ourselves to keep our spirits up. Listen, don't you worry about what I think. That's not important. Worry about what the board thinks of you going around talking about lost ships from decades past. Alright. I'm not afraid of the board. No, but the board may have reason to fear you. Why? I haven't done anything wrong. You carry on about coming here from another world? And people will talk. Talk leads to questions. Ask enough questions and the board comes answering. Okay, I should go. Oh, what the hell? A 
abandoned industrial zone. Alright, hold on. Botched? I haven't botched any quests yet. Uh... Right, where to? Alright, let's go to the Emerald Veiled Community Center. Alright, here we are at the community center. Oh. Oh, let's go inside the community center. I've never actually been in it. What the hell? Here we go. Kill. 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 Oh shit! Fuck! Ah, shit! Gotcha! Anybody else here? Get up, Harvati. First aid room key. Oh, it's a currency! That's what that is. Okay. Oh! Wrecked! up experimental anthracillin. Alright, I picked it up. Alright. Oh, mag law, mag pick. <clears throat> Vending machine discovered. Got them. That's the last of them. All right, they're dead. Back, 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 back. Up antique saber. I have a cartridge, pet pills. All right. Up. Anything special we're looking for? Oh, here's a... Alright. Alright. Hack. And we're in. Encode first aid key card. <laughs> I just did it. All right. Thank you for choosing space search's choice. All right, logs. All right. Whoops. All right. Oh, what's this? Examine. Salt Saltuna. Primals. Canid. And what's this? Coming soon. Manta Queen.
All right, we need to search the rest of these bodies here. All right, let's get out of here. Well, what the hell is that over there? All right. Let's get to the c collector's domicile. Oh, what the hell? Ah, oh, it's nothing. How the fuck do you get in this? Ah, made it. Yes. Guess we can't get in. Oh well. Got him. We made it. Where'd that ringleader go? Corporation Service Award, okay. Guess the ringleader's not here. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is the collector's domicile right here. Here we are. Examine. Collector's letter. I just got the letter today. A corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery. Alright. Search the collector's domicile. Retrieve the journal. Gotta go into a cave. Amazing. All right. There we go. Ow. Alright, let's go. Oh! 
Oh, dead. What the f- Transport wreckage discovered. Oh. What the fuck? That missed? Still alive, I see. Got him. That's the last of them. What was that sound? Must have been nothing. All right, into the cave we go. Ow. Ooh, safe. Pick. Nice. Journal of M. Bacono. All right, now we gotta return to the vi to the Vicar. Oh, damn it! What's further in the cave? I wonder. progress on that matter we discussed? Why, yes, I've got your book here. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. <laughs> it's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. All right, so you didn't want that book to keep others from reading it. You just wanted it for yourself. <clears throat> well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. Ah, uh, sure. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Oh well, at least you still have your mission to work here to give your life a meaningful purpose. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aether Wave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Alright. You need a ride out of town? I wouldn't mind for a ship hand. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand, if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. 
Alright. Uh. Uh. That, that all part of Vicar training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. All right. Sounds good. Let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Bedwater's going to miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. All right. Companion perks. And I leveled up. All right, what do I want to do? Hmm. Uh, what do I want to do here? All right, par body. Oh, she, I can. Oh, I can level up her too. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. All right, let's roll. All right, let's go to the geothermal master control terminal. There we go. Geothermal power plant discovered. I had a fucking grenade. Damn it. Ah, oh, right in here. Watch out. Got him. Oh. All right. I always wanted to poke around in here. Mm, oh, this dude died. So is this dude. Looks like someone's been through here. Ooh, ride control armor. What does a ride control armor look like? A 
What the fuck? Alright, fuck that. <laughs> There we go. Disarm security fences. And view recent logs. Alright. Everything's disabled. That not work? Alright, guess it didn't. Alright. Laboratory outfit splash resistant. Geothermal power plant. Bending machine. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. I hope so too. Eesh. Fucking receptionist got their head blown off. Bypass shunt. Alright, let's see. Access file one. All right. Got him. <laughs> Only have one way. There we go, fixed up. What is Dervish Mist? I want I need to look up what that is. I'd like to know what the item does before I pick it up. Ah, Geothermal Security Chief's key card. Unlock door. Enter passcode. Welcome, Reed Thompson. Personal files. Access. Automated message. 006. Huh. Door open. Emulation. Nightingale step. Worker outfit. Alright. Got him. You took one down. Oh, this person's dead as dicks. Alright. Oh shit! There we go. Standard troop armor. Can 
not real. You're not real. I'm not real? Who's there? Come on, I gotta go down. Figure out who that is. Get away! Damn it. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. No! Ow, 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 ow! We did it! Use terminal. Shut off steam release valves. Alright. Release valves successfully closed. A dead scientist. Ah, oh, workbench. Workbench. All right, let's see. Let me eat something too. Got it. Alright, I have no idea where I'm going at this point. Alright, we gotta get him out. We gotta help him. Get away! Model spaceship. Don't need that. But. Uh, hey, how you doing, man? You're not real! You're not real! Get away from me, Phantom! Shoot! Scram! Calm down. 
I'm not here to hurt you. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. Alright, uh, you're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experience brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Alright, uh... What is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Uh... You were an engineer? I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Alright, if you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Uh, persuade. I can deal with the mechanicals. Uh, I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Alright, mechanical... F Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Alright, thank you. I wanted to ask you something. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Alright. How have you been surviving all this time? Jimmy'd open the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. This place looks like it's been abandoned for a while. What happened? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Uh, okay. But I should go. Let's roll. Alright, so that was Higgins. Okay. Oh. We need to get to the master control terminal. Huh. Ah, C. Higgins. Yep. Ah. This must be where the mechanicals were at. Bypass shunt. Mac. Examine. Borrowed a copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanic. I think it's Volume 3. Need something to read down in the pit. Much obliged. See see Higgins. We've already gotten that. Oh. 
But where is it? It's this way. are. So this is where the choice is made. Use terminal. Plant status. Alright, redirect power. Alright, all three electrical track switches. Alright, we gotta re- we gotta get the rounding switch. That'll be easy enough. I think we might have hit two switches already. Or three. Could also be three. I don't know. Ow! Here we go. One to go. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Where are we headed? Alright. Over here. There we are. Modify behavior. Uh, select new mode. Select new target. Define intruders. There we go. There we go. Alright. Which is over there. All right, here we are. That's the last, That's the last one. Once we do this, there's no going back. Okay, once hey, we- Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Ugh. <sighs> Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. 
Cutting off their power might be the only way. <sighs> Alright, make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Huh. Alright, I'm, gl I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I... No one's ever told me those words in that order. <sighs> well... We gotta make a choice. Hmm. To Edgewater or the Botanical Laboratory? I didn't feel good doing that. I think you did the rightest thing you could sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they ain't care much for me. Alright. We'll talk later. Well, the deserter's reputation has now decreased, probably to a very significant point. But that's a town! Besides, Parvati begged me for it. Whoa! Alright, gotta go to the botanical lab and face the music, I guess. Alright. Adelaide McDevitt. I'm sorry. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private. Away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Reed needs his people back. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over. And the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Uh, what happened to you, Adelaide? All this anger had to come from somewhere. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? 
Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. I'll need some help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. You think that'll convince Reed to step down? I have got a means to cure the plague, and I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. Enough talk. Let's go talk to Reed. We're not talking to the rest of the people yet. I feel very bad for that woman. Reed Thompson is the one who is responsible for all this. Uh, let's go talk to Reed. Elevator music. Elevator music. Elevator music. All right. All right, Reed. Let's talk. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Hmm. Alright, I spoke to Adelaide. She won't come back as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. A change of leadership might be what this town needs. I am a Spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer, but it is my home. Adelaide's people aren't getting sick with plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. This town doesn't eat anything but Sultana. Of course you're gonna get sick. You are disparaging our parent company, and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. I'm pretty sure it's your food making that's making you sick. You need Adelaide's garden. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us. So the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Adelaide's found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Alright, I'll lie. I'm not gonna tell him. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. What are your plans? A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Why not? 
No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. You won't last a day outside the walls, you know. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. You don't have to do this, you know. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague, and she knows how to tend to crop. She's what this town needs. This can't be easy for you. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. Take care. I feel bad for Reed. I hope he's okay. I hope he'll live. He did try to do his best. Come on, let's go. staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, <laughs> Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. <laughs> are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so, wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no, I I'm just along with this fella here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Ah, uh, I'm just passing through. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. <clears throat> those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Alright, today's your lucky day. I've got one of them. You mentioned two pads, so what about the third? I wish I knew. I wagered the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Alright, today's your lucky day. I've got one of the, those data pads you wanted. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? The Elusive Part 3. Someone stashed it away at the old geothermal plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible! You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. I'll let you know if I find any others. Sure! I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Alright. I should go. Let's go. Alright, we got a new quest. That's nice. I love quests. I don't know how much longer we'll last without power. Alright, let's go talk to Adelaide now. Hello, Adelaide. Look at that. The snakes come back. I talked Reed into leaving. Come back to Edgewater. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know. 
Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Edgewater's better off with you running the place. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Take care. I leveled up! Alright, pick up the power regulator! Alright, where's she going? I need some time to gather my personals. <sighs> well, we, uh... Reputation. Alright, the board doesn't like me. Well, not really that much. Alright. Alright, let's go. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but... Every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Alright, I can understand not wanting to go back. You didn't seem happy in Edgewater. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin. It's yours. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain? I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Alright! Oh yeah, we got perk points. Uh... Uh There we go. But before we go, I want to finish that quest. Oh, I got to do those two side quests. Let's go to the community center and get that, uh, thing. Oh, poor body's still with me. Alright, uh, where, where do we go? Where are we going? Alright, let's go. Hard. Fuck. Alright, that was creepy. Here we go. Edgewater.
It's upstairs. Some hoheads running around town talking about lost colony ships. That was me. Hello, Phyllis Granger. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm guessing you're the foreman. Oh, gravesite fees. I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that? Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That's kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. <laughs> Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Alright, you said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing alright at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. I thought you said you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. <laughs> I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. You, you... You can't be serious. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. He was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees. Which means he was approved for burial. Which means his papers went through. Which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace. And the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Alright. Bye. Jeez, she was a toughie. Hey, got all three volumes. Easy. Whoops. All right, let's roll. Up. Ow. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright. Here you are, Thomas. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Alright. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? All of them. Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart! Oh, almost forgot your payment. Alright, hold on. Got more for you. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Alright. Part two, found it in the cannery. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. 
Um, hey. aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. All right. Adelaide said that? Was she sober at the time? I never imagined she'd step foot in Edgewater long as Reed ran the town. Something must have changed in Edgewater. Adelaide's good as family. If she's going back, so are we. All right. Hey, Grace. Never liked Reed much. Can't say I'm sorry he's gone. All right. At least they know either he's going. That it's happening now. All right. Uh, we need to do. Up oh, shit. Ah, fuck. All right. Let's get those other side quests done, and then we'll be out of here. Actually, let's just get out of here. We'll do that later. All right, hold E to open. Hey. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. All right, Vicar. No, oh, I didn't know you could go upstairs. Captain's quarters. Oh, it's sealed. Fuck. Oh, All right. All right. We're back here on the unreliable. Let's uh, talk to Ada. Nice. Light assault rifle. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. What can All I right. do for you, Captain? I have the power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Alright, I'll be back. Alright. In we go. Install the power regulator. Hey, I got an achievement. Ticket to anywhere. Ow. All right, out what we go. What can I do for you, Captain? All right, I've installed the power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. All right, let's get out of here. All right, there we go. All right, and we are out. Against all odds, the, the unreliable takes flight. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Good. I've been waiting for to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hail and hearty, and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Uh, I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. 
What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. All right. Why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. <laughs> Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. All right, fine. All right. What's stopping me from just leaving Halcyon altogether? Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Alright. How do I know I can trust her? Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Alright. I'll have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. I'll put it to good use, thank you. Or, can you explain what it is? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The Shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First-generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. All right. What's the limitations? Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. All right. But it's a good use, thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Got it. Oh. Pretty. It's pretty here. Can we look out other places? Open. I think I'll initiate an unscheduled rest cycle while you're out. To Edgewater landing pad. Hey, poor body. Ah! 
Ow. Ow. Alright. Ah! Acrophobia. Holographic Shroud. All right. All right. Oh, quest added. Wow, look how beautiful that planet looks. Alright everyone, well make yourself at home, Captain. Alright, I'm 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 at home. Alright everyone, well uh Super Dream. Alright everyone, well, uh, I guess we'll end it here. One with a good shot of this planet. Thank you all for watching, and I will yield the floor.